Last week on Good Day Atlanta, we reported that non-digital technology is making a big comeback, especially in the form of vinyl albums. Yeah, and with the renewed interest in records, local record stores are seeing a surge in business. And Good Day's Paul Milliken, he's hanging out at Records Galore in Clarkston this morning. And Paul, you found out that a lot of people yes. have a lot of love for these records. Absolutely, including me. I have to tell you, it's good to finally do a live report that I can authoritatively speak about because I am a record collector and I'm in heaven this morning at records galore. It's vinyl as far as the eye can see. And, you know, there's kind of two pieces to this resurgence of vinyl. There's the people that are buying brand new albums. For example, Taylor Swift's latest album did really well on vinyl. And then there's people who are collecting vintage vinyl, like this album right here from the 60s by the Esquires called Get On Up and Get Away. And, you know, if you ask a record collector why they like vintage vinyl, you're going to hear a lot of answers. But most will say something about being able to really see a cover, be able to touch it, hold it, read it, and, of course, hear the sound from the vinyl. And as we found out recently during an interview with an amazing local singer, these albums really do hold incredible memories. When Brenda Nicole Moore performs, she's not just standing on a stage. She's standing on the shoulders of so many incredible artists who came before her. My mom bought me this cassette tape from like an estate sale, uh, a, a cassette player, and she bought all these like Billie Holiday cassettes, there was like uh, Nina Simone and stuff, and she had a blank one. And so I would listen to these songs and then in my room record myself on the cassette player. Now the Atlanta jazz singer is preparing to release her second album titled Brand New Heart. It's about rebirth, honestly. It's about coming from a place that, you know, you maybe weren't that comfy in into a place that is brighter, happier, yeah. better. Brenda Nicole Moore might be a new name to you, but to soul music fans, and we're talking real diehard fans, her last name already means something special. That's the 1967 hit Get On Up by the Esquires, a group founded by Moore's grandfather, Alvis, and a favorite of a certain record collecting news reporter. Brought you a little surprise, so. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God! Okay, so there it is. The You're Esqu kidding me! I have only seen this in like pictures. And really? Yeah, they don't, no way. they don't have any of these. <laughs> no way. I mean, they have their like gold record on the wall in my yeah. grandma's house and stuff, but they don't have like, How? I've never seen this. No way. This is my grandfather, Alvis Moore. This is my uncle, Gilbert Moore, and this is my uncle, Sam. So I grew up with them, like barbecues almost every weekend, honestly. Like we would, we're from Wisconsin. We would even barbecue in the winter. Our house was kind of like the party house. Yeah. So um, all the family would come over and we would have, you know, our family talent show and we would do our thing. And I honestly was scared to sing for a long time because I was surrounded by so many great singers. But now with an album about rebirth, that fear is gone for good. And on the shoulders of Billie Holiday, and in the spirit of her own family, Brenda Nicole Moore carries on a legacy of music that truly stirs the soul. I feel like to sing jazz, you have to have lived a little bit. And so I'm honestly just now getting to the point where, where I'm like, yeah, I can sing this and put some, some meaning into it.
Yeah, as you can tell, she is very talented. And yes, because she didn't have it, I let her keep my Esquire's album. Thankfully for me at Records Galore, there's another copy. So I'm rebuying it today. And of course, there's the picture on the back. And that is Brenda's grandfather right there. Her new single, by the way, is already out. You can download it. It's a great song called Reimagine. It's on repeat on my iPod playlist, Buck. That's that playlist that you burger song, always yeah. refer to. It's yeah. very I love eclectic. that burger song you have, yeah. Right, right. But hey, that Paul. one's on there now, too. Yeah, Paul. yeah. Hey, coming up next hour, more here in Records Galore. Yeah, yeah, Buck. I actually liked your shirt this time. It's nice, yeah. right? Sun Studio. Look at yeah, that walk baby. the line, Johnny Cash. I do I like know. that. All right. For once, I like your Six shirt. Six bucks well done. on clearance. <laughs> there we I'm go. a thrifty guy. This fun bromance here. All right, you guys. Well, time is running.